factor 8k squared minus 24k minus 144. Now the first thing we can do here, just eyeballing each of these terms, if we want to simplify it a good bit, is all of these terms are divisible by 8. Clearly, 8k squared is divisible by 8. 24 is divisible by 8. And 144, it might not be as obvious as divisible by 8, but it looks like it is. 8 goes into 144. 8 goes into 14 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract, you get a 6. 14 minus 8 is 6. Bring down the 4. 8 goes into 64. Eight times. So it goes into 144 18 times. So let's just factor out an 8 of this, and then that'll simplify our expression. It'll actually give us a leading 1 coefficient. So this will become, this will become 8 times k squared minus 24 divided by 8 is 3k minus, minus 18. Minus 18. Now we have to factor this business in here. And remember, if anything has the form x squared plus bx plus c, where you have a leading 1 coefficient, this is implicitly a 1. We have that here in this expression in parentheses. Then we literally just need a, and we can, we can do this multiple ways, but we need to find two numbers whose sum is equal to the coefficient on x. So two numbers whose sum is equal to negative 3, and whose product whose product is equal to the constant term, and whose product is equal to negative 18. So let's just think about the factors of negative 18 here. Let's see if we can do something interesting. So it could be 1, and if it, since it's negative, one of the numbers has to be positive, one has to be negative. 1 and 18 is, is if it was positive, and then one of these could be positive, and then one of these could be negative. But no matter what, we're either going to have we're going to either if you if this is negative and this is positive, then this will be they add up to 17. If you switch them, then they add up to negative 17. So those won't work. So either we could write it this way: positive or negative one, and then negative or positive 18 to show that they have to be different signs. So those don't work. Then you have positive or negative three, and then negative or positive six, just to know that they're different signs. So if you have positive three and negative six. They add up to negative 3, which is what we need them to add up to. And they clearly, positive 3 and negative 6, their product is negative 18. So it works. So we're going to go with positive 3 and negative 6 as our two numbers. Now, for this example, just for the sake of this example, we'll do this by grouping. We'll do this by grouping. So what we can do is we can separate this middle term right here as the sum of 3k and negative 6k. So I could write the negative 3k as plus 3k minus 6k. And then let me write the rest of it. So we have k squared up here, plus 3k minus 6k, which is the same thing as this over here. And then we have minus 18. And then all of that's being multiplied by 8. Now we're ready to group this thing. We can group these first two terms. They're both divisible by k. And then we can group, let me put a positive sign, let's group these second two terms. So then we have. 8 times, I'll put right brackets here instead of writing double parentheses. Brackets are really just parentheses that look a little bit more serious. OK, now let's factor out, let's factor out a k from this term right over. Let me do this in a different color. Let's factor out the k here. So this is k times k plus 3. And then we have plus, and then over here it looks like we could factor out a negative 6. So let's factor out and do this in a different color. Let's factor out a negative 6 over here. So plus negative 6 times k plus 3 times k plus 3. So now it looks like we can factor out a k plus 3. There's a k plus 3 times a k, and then we have a k plus 3 times the negative 6. So let's factor, let's factor that out. So we have this 8 out front. That's not changing. So let me write that in the brackets. We're factoring out a k plus 3. So then we have the k plus 3 that we factored out. And then inside of that, we just have left this k. Instead of writing plus negative 6, I could just write k minus 6. k minus 6. k minus 6. We factor out the k plus 3, and we're done. And then we can rewrite this. this the way we wrote it here, it's 8 times the product of k plus 3 times k minus 6. But we know from the properties of multiplication, this is the exact same thing as 8 times k plus 3 times k minus 6. And we are done.